So when I started thinking about this video, I drew a storyboard, I wrote a shot list, and then I thought, you know, I can't draw, I can't write. So I said, F it, I'm winging it. You know, audio for any video project really makes or breaks the video. You could have the best video ever captured, but without quality audio, you might as well just throw it in the trash. And you know, this is the same for weddings. Bad video footage plus bad audio equals an unhappy client. Good video footage plus bad audio equals an unhappy client. The only way to have happy clients is to have great audio and great video. All right, so let's get into it. My biggest thing on wedding days is to be compact. I don't bring too much gear because I'm all about efficiency. The less time that I spend messing around with gear leaves more time for the client and more time to capture what actually needs to be captured. So although this might not be the best quality audio that you can capture on a wedding day, after shooting 250 weddings, this is the best way to capture audio for quality and efficiency on a wedding day. I'm gonna break this video into three parts. We've got the pre-ceremony, the ceremony, and the reception. Pre-ceremony is, well, I don't think I need to describe that. That's everything before the ceremony. That includes first looks with the groom, the dad, that includes any getting ready, really anything that happens before the ceremony. This part of the day really requires the least amount of audio, but we still capture everything just in case. So throughout the whole day, we're always capturing some sort of audio. And before the ceremony is no exception. For this part of the day, we always use two sources of audio. First off, we always have a microphone on the top of our camera recording everything during all events throughout the day. For pre-ceremony, this will include people talking, cheering, ooing and eyeing, laughing, crying, and every other noise that can be captured on a wedding day. The other audio that we capture at the beginning of the day is the first looks. So this includes the dad's first look, the bride and groom first look. We always attach a mic during this time of day to capture the raw emotion of the moment. Some of the best footage that we capture on a day, some of the most emotion that we capture on a day is from here. Oh. <laughs> Hi. I love you. I love you too. Damn it, I knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> Yay! I love, <laughs> I love it. Good. For this, we always use the Zoom F2 lavalier microphone. We attach it to the guys, so either the dad or the groom, and all of the audio that happens in that moment will be captured through this. That includes the bride talking and the guys. This little microphone is an incredible little piece of tech, and it always gets the job done. One of my favorite things about this audio recorder is that it records in 32-bit float. In caveman terms, that basically means you don't have to set audio levels. You can simply just change the audio levels in whatever editing program you use up as high as you want or as low as you want. It gives you a lot more freedom on the wedding day. There's no monitoring audio or anything. It just does it itself. For the pre-ceremony, that's it. And hey, before we get to the next section, please like this video if you like this type of content and subscribe to our channel. That helps us a lot. Now on to the ceremony, which is actually the hardest part of the wedding day. And if you grasp everything in the ceremony, that helps you a lot with the reception later on. With every package that we offer, we offer a full ceremony and full reception film. This means we offer edits with several different camera angles, as well as several different sources of audio. For a typical ceremony, we'll have three sources of audio, one main source and two backups, just in case. For weddings, backups are necessary. Imagine if you're doing one source of audio and that fails, you've got nothing. So for a typical ceremony, this is what we'll do. First, we'll put the Zoom F2 that we talked about earlier on the groom and the officiant. That way we get everything that happens during the ceremony that's up front, including the bride's vows, the groom's vows, and anything that the officiant says. Secondly, we'll always use this mic sleeve if there's a handheld mic up front. So basically what we do is we take this mic sleeve, we put it over top of the handheld microphone, and we put this little audio recorder in it. And then basically when they're holding a handheld microphone, it's right up to their face. We don't have to worry about anybody else's technology. Everything that's set into the microphone, we capture. This is actually one of our new favorite things at a wedding day. We'll use it for the reception as well, but we'll talk about that later. The last source of audio that we'll use for the ceremony is typically by tapping into the DJ's sound system. This is usually the toughest part to grasp for new videographers, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty much universal. So on a wedding day, we'll always bring three different cables. So first, we will always bring this XLR to three and a half millimeter cable. Our recorder records with a 3.5 millimeter input. So basically what we do, plug that in, and this will go into the back of the speaker for the ceremony usually in the mix out output. If for some reason the speaker doesn't have this, we'll go onto the second cable. So the second one is this quarter inch to three and a half millimeters. So again, we'll plug it into our recorder here. And then usually what we use this for is either in the back of a mixing board or we'll go into the headphone jack on the actual mixing board itself. Usually when you do this, you have a dedicated knob that you can change the volume with, which is always really helpful. So if they don't have this as an option, we'll go to the last and final one that we usually use 
and that is the RCA to three and a half millimeters. So again, we'll plug it into our recorder and then usually this will go into the back of the soundboard. And if you can't figure out how to do any of this, you know what, there's a DJ there that likely knows how to help. If you follow all of these steps that I'm saying, you'll have great audio on a wedding day. So finally, we're on to the reception, which is again, pretty easy if you understand the ceremony part of the day. We use the same things, often in the same way, as we use during the ceremony for the reception. So the only things that we ever capture during the reception are the entrances and the speeches. We usually don't do dances, we'll supplement that later from music online. For the reception, I always tap into the DJ's sound system, again, like I did during the ceremony. I'll use either the XLR, RCA, or the quarter inch cable into one of my Sony recorders. The other way that I capture audio for the reception, again, is this microphone sleeve, which again, goes onto the handheld microphone, my recorder goes in, and then when they're talking, they're talking right into my microphone, which is amazing audio. And if you don't have either of these options, the best backup is to always drape a lavalier microphone over top of one of the DJ's speakers, and that isn't the greatest audio, but it works. If you bring all of this gear on a wedding day, there's no audio that you can't capture. And if you follow these few steps that I told you before, you'll have great audio and you'll never have to worry about it again. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you like this type of content, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and comment below if there's anything that you wanna learn about. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in another video.